Yeah, Hall yeah. of Fame nominees. Here yeah, we go. No, I'm trying to find that. The actual list here. A um, couple uh, repeat nominees here, especially too. Um, they announced last week the uh, Hall of Fame nom nominees. Some some names there. Obviously, modern names, of course. Uh, Eli Manning, Steve McNair is still not in yet. Um, That's got, fascinating. Uh, yeah. You got, um, uh, Randall Cunningham not in yet, especially too. Tony Romo is a nominee. Apparently, there's a re repeat nominee for the record. Um, yeah. Let's start with Eli first. Cause that's the big one. First time on the ballot. By no, the way. he's he he is a no for a first ballot Hall of Famer. I agree. Because I agree with you 100 percent on that. Yeah, well, as a Cowboys fan, you should. I yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, here's what I'll say. <laughs> but Eli Manning. He will get in. Sure. Depending how strong the entire list is. I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think it's a percentage, right? Is it, is it, is it, is it percentages they do it by? How, how they do it? Uh, basically, there's a committee and a bunch of people campaign in a room, and then they vote. Um, that's basically what it comes down to. Um, for me, the reason why you're it, – it's it's not going to be a weak class because I don't think there is such a thing anymore with the guys that have been asked to wait. There's no such thing as a weak Hall of Fame class anymore. Somebody's going to get snubbed. Somebody's going to get slighted. It's going to be something where people were like, Tony Baselli should have never made it in. It should have been – X and whoever that is is probably a member of this upcoming class that's going to get voted in, right? Yeah, and there's, there's a lot of guys that like missed prior, that's right? Like, like for example, I, I could see, I could see this year. You know, um, it wouldn't be this year because I don't think Eli Manning's getting in 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 first ballot. But like, let's say Steve McNair still isn't in. You know, Eli gets in over him. They'll call it a snub. The campaign will come back stronger next year to get Steve McNary, which right. he absolutely should be. Clearly the best quarterback in Tennessee Titans slash Tennessee Oilers slash Houston Oilers history. Well, not Houston Oilers history. Better Warren Moon? Yes. Really? For what for what he was at the time, yeah. Because Warren Moon was an excellent player. No, I love player. McNair. I might not. Hear me out. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. Warren Moon was an excellent player, but you remember – through things that aren't his fault, I think longevity is a factor. And again, it, it, I could be convinced if I looked at the numbers side by side, a good argument could probably be made that I might be able to capitulate to. But today, just from the hip without looking it up, I would say McNair. Just because uh, he, he was he was he was one of these that were a two faceted guy. Not that Warren Moon couldn't run, but McNair was a bigger part of the ground attack in a world, by the way, where he had Eddie George by his side. Right, he was Cam Newton slash great quarterback before it was cool, or excuse me, Cam Newton slash great great running back or good running back before it was cool. What about well, Cunningham should get in, right? No, well, yes, no. You would think so, wouldn't you? I mean, no, he's not first ballot because of injuries, but I think he, the impact he made when he was playing the, was the reason why I feel compelled to give it to him is of the way he bounced back. Um, yeah. I agree. Especially Minnesota. That's my point. He was yeah. great in Minnesota. I, I yeah. yeah. Um, here's the his probably the most controversial one of all, and I'm people gonna say no to this, but I actually I can make an argument that numbers just dictates that right. Tony Romo. Tony Romo. I think Tony Romo should be a Hall of Famer. I don't think he should be first ballot. Right. Um, and I don't know that he'll get first ballot because of the stigma that was attached to him. I think he misses chance. For, so, by the way, and by the way, I, I think first ballot off the table anyway because this is this is a, this is his repeat. Oh, it is. So yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I, I think. Tony Romer sh should be a Hall of Famer. I mean, name me a Cowboys quarterback that's done better. And don't say Eggman because his numbers are fraudulent as hell. I'm going to say it one time. You give Tony that team, you give the Cowboys mid-90s quarterbacks, oh, mid-90s Cowboys t Tony Romo as quarterback, they they might win more than three Super Bowls. He's certainly a better passer than Aikman was. I agree. Yeah. Um, I'm going through some of these other uh, guys here. Let's see, running back wise, who's on the on the list? Uh, you got Sean Alexander, short career. I say no. Yeah, he's he, he shouldn't be a first ballot guy, uh, definitely. And should he get in? Is longevity is a factor? You know, I, this isn't this isn't Sean Alexander's first try, is it? I don't think it is. I don't think so. Yeah. Then, anyways, I and listen, I met the guy personally. I love him. It's it's a tough the 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 the. the the lack of longevity makes it tough, man. Makes it hard. It does. It really does. It really does. Um, but yeah, um, I think Eli will eventually get in. It wouldn't surprise me he gets in the first ballot though because of the two Super Bowls. Well, but I, I don't think it's right though. And I'm I'm I said as a Giant fan saying that. Yeah, no, we we understand. Who name my child after my firstborn child after him? 
for the record. It doesn't matter. I think th- 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 there was too many around the two Super Bowls. There's a lot of mediocrity at best. I mean, the only the only thing that would help Eli's case really though is that he does he is now. Granted, as, as time goes on, they, they, he'll be he'll be surpassed by these numbers. But he does have a lot of top ten numbers. Um, I don't passing all time touchdowns. This argument you make for Eli Manning though, you make, right. the the argument would be the Super Bowls, obviously. You well, it's not just the Super Bowls, obviously, because I mean, two Super Bowls is cute, but the way they got there both times, and the basically immortal performances he had in both games, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Those, these are two of the biggest moments in history, the Tyree catch and the literal perfect pass to Mario. Man, we don't talk enough about that play either, yeah. but it, it should be iconic in Super Bowl history is one of the best completions ever. That and, might the th- th- and the throw too, not, not just a catch, but a throw too. Also, no, a tight window. Completion because, you know, you can't have a completion without a good throw, EJ yeah. Christie. Well, the, the Tyree throw was was that was a, that was a he just tossed it in the air and Tyree right. Threw it. But but what's amazing about that is the Houdini act he does in the backfield to stay up and not get sacked. Right. That's the thing you watch the catch, man. The catch, Adelius was, Thomas. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we'll go through it.